Oh, no, no, no. Yo, we were just about to leave and look at this. Look at this Charmeleon just being super dominant. Oh my gosh. There's a female right there as well. No, no, oh, look, look, yeah. He's, wow, look at that. Look at the ferocity of that iguana. Look how he's just walking like that, dude. Will we catch a trash panda with trash? What do you think, bud? I think it will work. You know, you got trash, you got trash panda, put them both together. Panda habitats are getting destroyed. Hashtag save the panda. Oh! <laughs> Grab these back legs. No, no, no. Oh, shoot. Special shout outs to FX Air Gun and Paramount Air. Oh my God. Hyper orange. Oh. Ooh, the finesse. The finesse. <laughs> my goodness. My goodness. Oh my gosh. Definitely. Six foot. While well, was right now, you already know we see a monster alpha iguana right there. Yo, what is, is he frozen or is he sleeping? What is he doing? He's not frozen. Oh, oh. oh. No, he's not frozen. He just shook his head. Look at him. He's right in front of this wall while he's claiming territory. You're not out here trying to pump gas, are you? Wow! There's two orange ones! Ah, right, yo, we're at the Wawa's. Have the catch pole right here. Have monster alpha iguanas right over there. But as you know, yo, there was a big whole front that happened basically just two days ago. And then now as the, as the temperature is getting warmer, the iguanas are starting to wake up. hanging out at the lake. I mean, that'd be pretty cool, right? Pretty shocking, eh? We're right here at the Wawa's fire-breathing iguana right here. Beautiful bright orange colors, and we just removed them from the ecosystem. So that's one down. We got a few more over there too to remove for this Wawa job. Lot of questions for this boy. We're just gonna tag him right on site. Hold this burrito right here. Oh, yeah, dude. You don't eat them? Oh, they're, they're so good. They're good? Yeah, they're really good. The tail, the fire. The, the tail, the tail. The tail. The tail. The tail. The tail. You, get ready, you get ready to get stewed up or something. Yeah, curried up. Curried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, they don't belong in our ecosystem. Oh, yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. Yeah. You never know what you're gonna get. Yeah, dude. So look, check it out, man. I, I put some traps here. Mm -hmm. um, I showed you what happened on the trail camera, right? Yeah, I seen it. That was insane. We have the trail cameras now, but we have to get more iguanas for bait. Mm -hmm. But um, I think uh, some of the traps hit. So let's go check it out. And look what we got. Oh, oh, oh. 
Ooh. Little furry woodland creature. And he's sitting on his bottom. Hello, sir. What are you doing, my friend? What is he doing? I don't know. It's just a baby. <coughs> it's a baby, huh? Hello. Wow, he's not even blinking. He's like staring us down. Yo, so I put the trap here anyways. And now we finally got one with the mango. I'm thinking that mango was in there and they couldn't rip it out like they were doing the iguana. So he had to go in the trap. They can't resist it, you know? Look at him. Whoa, Whoa shoot. Whoa. Whoa, buddy. This raccoon loves him. Ooh. Well, at least he's not aggressive. They hunt them, yes. You've seen it in videos. So if he knows how to hunt iguanas and he's gonna teach his buddies and keep eating more iguanas, who knows, maybe in a year, each raccoon can eat like a hundred or a thousand iguanas. Check it out, right? Let's see. A little furry raccoon. Oh, actually, this is a big one. Oh. We have a big furry raccoon. Somebody got their hand caught in the cookie jar. He was trying to make a great escape. Came right in time, dude. <laughs> nice, bro. He did. Yo. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, my goodness. Nothing. But the food's missing. But look, the iguana was eaten. Oh, wow. There they go. They stripped, they stripped it to the bone. Look at that. Man, they're smart. They they're smart enough it. not to get inside the trap and eat it. They ate it from the outside. We're playing a game. If I give him the chance, he will try to look. You see what he's trying to do? Yeah. I'll grab his hand. I can play a game too. You know that game where you play, you try to go to yeah. grab the figure? Uh huh. <laughs> oh, sh okay. Oh, all right, all right, okay. Oh, okay, all right. All right, okay. All right. Let me not test my luck too much. Can't get you. Okay. pandas and and black and white pandas in the wild guys each and every day panda habitats are getting destroyed they're being hunted they're almost extinct in florida these pandas their homes are going away guys people are buying the land and making stuff with panda territory hashtag save the pandas right now guys we'll donate food to pandas here in the wild hashtag save the panda Check them out. He's there, like, look, check him out. He's oh, like, yeah, they're hanging out there all the time. He's like oh, Godzilla. Yeah. Go on the other side. You'll probably see like four of them just chilling over there. Oh. Good one. You see they chill there all the time, huh? On top of the roof. Oh. All right. Oh, they're moving. There's another one. Oh, boy. Whistling Willie, that's what we're gonna call this little boy. Roddy, you got a bag and tag. You know, it'd be a good bait to catch trash pandas. Trash, check it out, yo. We literally gonna throw trash in here. What we got here? This is like. Yesterday's uh, chicken? I don't know. Literally just got to throw the whole thing inside here. Because we know trash pandas love trash. We're going to try it out, guys. Will we have a trash panda by later today? Stay tuned and find out. We're going to test a theory, guys. Do not try this at home. This is just for scientific and educational purposes only. Will we catch a trash panda with trash? What do you think, bud? I think it will work. You know, you got trash, you got trash panda. Put them both together. Hey, I think you're onto something, man. Oh, no, no, no. 
Yo, we were just about to leave and look at this. Look at this Charmeleon just being super dominant. Oh my gosh. There's a female right there as well. No, no, oh, look, look, yeah. He's like, yeah, you see my female, hey? Wow, look at that. Look at the ferocity of that iguana. Look how he's just walking like that, dude. Oh my gosh. And people would say we were making it up about iguanas taking over Florida. Would you, what would you have to say to those silly people, Rowdy? <laughs> this is real life right now. <laughs> this is real life. This is really happening, guys. This is, this is real life. These are not CI, CGI graphics right here. That's a real dinosaur. Real iguana taking over and being alpha. Same one, right? Look, yeah. at, look, at, look at how he's sliding his back legs. He's just sliding down there. Oh. Oh, man. Guys, this one might be escaping. We gotta see if we can get him. Is he still there? Yeah, he's still there. He's still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a chance. We got a chance. We got a chance, y'all. All right, guys. We got him around him. Holy moly. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god. Yo, he almost ran up with the pole, son. Our sign, our territory. Hey, where'd you see that big blue iguana at, though? Yeah, we saw that fence over there. He's blue? Yeah, there's blue ones, there's orange ones, yellow ones, blue ones. How big of a we talking? Yeah. It's about four and a half feet. I heard two. I heard yellow ones and some albinos are out here, too. Yeah, sometimes. There's a lot of them. What happens is there's so much breeding going on that sometimes, you know, like genetic defects and stuff like that happen, you know? Yeah. There's so, there's so many breeding going and on. He says the owl's over there, too. There's a big one owl like this. Okay, we finally got one of the culprits. There he is right there. Oh, wow. He looks like a badger. Like a male. You see these are these raccoons are coming up here like we showed you guys and they're living inside the storage area. Calm down buddy. Just calm down. Power females, this is definitely a daddy raccoon right here. Yeah, now that we got the daddy, maybe they can stop populating as much as frequently. He could be a big breeder right there. Pretty sure the customers are gonna be thrilled. I think the males are bigger, but they're more lean, you know? I think the females are fat. I could be wrong, but I don't know if there's a way to uh, dimorphically tell which is male and female just by looking at them. Maybe some viewers at home might be able to help us. Woo, those raccoons stink, boy. Ooh. You smell that? Yeah. Man. It smells like a wet dog mixed with barf, mixed with Cheetos. Stink. Ugh. You're stinky. Stinky, stinky raccoon. But he's so cute, I just want to pet him right on the head. Come here, buddy. Come here. Just kidding, guys. Uh, do not do ever, ever, ever interact with a raccoon like that. Ever. Right there on top of the roof. Alright, guys, we are back over here. Wow, the sun is beaming. Look on top of the roof, another iguana. Decided he wanted to claim territory there. We got Marie, we got Larry. And we're gonna see if we come back.
He's just chilling. I think you can get him. Pull him down, pull him down. Nicely done. Nice. Grab these back legs. No, no, no. Oh, shoot. Whoa. No more hanging out on the roof for you, buddy. In the back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got it. Oh, that's a nice project. I don't want it. You don't want it? Okay. <laughs> oh, you're taking this out of here? Yeah, we're gonna harvest them. Nicely done, Marie. You had to get them, right? It's okay, just throw in the back. Yep. Look at that, guys. Another iguana in the bag. These males, man, I'm telling you, y'all, this, this place is insane. We have raccoons out here. We got iguanas out here. Uh, they love on top of these storage units. Uh, great spot for them to bask. It's warm, it's thin, and it attracts a lot of wildlife. Even back here, we have a pond. So there's just wildlife teeming all throughout here. But of course, we're at the storage unit, so can't have these guys just in people's storage, right? Yeah. All right, great catch. Right there we go, right there. Where were these bags when the freeze was here? <laughs> we had no idea. Pretty Iguana? long bags too. The bag. There he goes. Iguana, some great eating meat right here. All oh, my people that love frog legs, all oh, my people that like gator bites, right up your alley right here, some good eats. Yum, yum, yum. You had it before, Marie? No. Are you opposed to trying it? I'm going to try it. You want to try it? I'm going to try it. All right, I'm going to see if, uh, if we can harvest a couple of them. Maybe we can do like a little uh, little cook or something, right? I am um, now. A little catch and cook. So, in the bag. Tomorrow, I think tomorrow we're going to do the chili, y'all.